ML Sports Take brought to you by Welch & Company Jewelers Jam & Beats and our great friends over at Camilla's Golf Club. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. The Yankees thumped the Astros in Game 1 of a three-game set, and the Yankee bats were out. I mean, Anthony Volpe, I've said it from the get-go, he's a totally different player at the plate, and you have to go watch some of the, uh, the games from last year into this year. You have to go read some of the articles, some of the changes that he made bringing in the proper hitting coach and all the rest and instructing him on how to do different things with his hands and stay low and go through the ball. Uh, he, he's a different player right now, and he had a hit in three RBI last night, obviously. Um, you know, tremendous contact. He hangs in there. He works late counts. It's been Volpe and Soto mostly and consistently. And I got to tell you, I mean, Rizzo's coming on, uh, which I didn't see coming this early. He's always a bad starter. And then Verdugo. I mean, I like the, the the pickup of Verdugo a lot for the Yankees. I mean, you know, you, you think about this guy, right? Ex-Red Sox, maybe a little bit of an axe to grind there. He didn't like how things were handled there. They will say that they didn't like how it was handled with him. It's a typical thing. Both sides talk some smack and all the rest. But Verdugo, he hits a bomb last night. And... Um, you know, in grand salami fashion, and they just absolutely, uh, it was a three-run homer, and Verlander just looked terrible, and maybe it's finally there, right, father time, and the Yankees continue to sustain the pitching. I keep telling people that the Yankees in the regular season and postseason, even when the starting pitching gets taxed to a degree, then the bullpen gets taxed to a degree, when they enter in the postseason, if they make it, now they missed it last year, the pitching has still been there to hold for three runs or less. It always is. Look what happened last night again three runs, right? So, and I know two of them were, were earned, or one of them was earned, but you get the point. They can get to the point where they can, you know, limit teams to three runs, but what do the bats do? Do they hit with runners in scoring position? Do, do, you know, that's the big thing, right? Runners in scoring position last night was four of 13. It wasn't the one for 12 that we see against Houston in the postseason. It wasn't the 0 for 9. It was, they hit with guys on, and that's the difference in the Yankees if they're going to get back to the top of the baseball mountain, they have got to start hitting with runners in scoring position. Just another ho-hum night for Juan Soto. Three more hits, 329 average. Guy is absolute nails for the New York Yankees. Astros lineup, they do take some bad swings here and there. I've said that the, I think a run is still coming for this team, but man, they're 12-23. and 23. They better do it pretty soon. And oh, by the way, 5-11 and 11 on the road. Houston Astros get pounded by the Yanks in game one of a three-game set in the Bronx. Mike Lindsley here, ML Sports Take, brought to you by Welch and Company Jewelers, Jam and Beats, Mars Motors, and our friends at Ken's Auto Detailing. Go get your car detailed today at Ken's Auto Detailing, Brewerton, Cicero area, Route 11, if you're in and around the area. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.